You again. I told you never to return. We have word from the King of Van that the Eye of Truth is in here. We bring you these emblems as proof of our intentions. Well, well. A successor to Mua's destiny has finally made itself known. Destiny? Please come with us. What the? Where are we? This is definitely not the work of an underdeveloped planet. Hmm. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Proceeding with extermination! Repeat, proceeding with extermination! We're surrounded! When did they... Phoenix! Dragon Roar! Dragon Roar! Dragon Roar! Dragon Roar! Flare! What was that? Hmm. Judging by all the protection, there must be something awfully important in this room. Well, let's take a look around. Maybe we can find something. This looks like a security card. What's a security card? It's like a key, Roddick. But why would we find one of these on Roke? Their civilization shouldn't have anything this advanced. A red card. I bet we can use it to open that red door we saw earlier. Oh, right. The door we couldn't open earlier. Is that the only door this will open? Yeah, probably. Let's go back to that red door. We ought to be able to get through it now. Right, let's go! Be careful! They're so 
close! Let's go! Yes, it really was that simple. Something's been engraved on it. Oh, here, I can read this. Arrange the royal emblems of tradition on the land. Thy choice of arrangement shall reveal the key to opening the door. Now what could that mean? The royal emblems of tradition. They must be talking about these things, right? The emblems of the Four Kings? Right. Hmm. This must be the console we use to open the door. Let's try placing the emblems there. Please choose the correct emblem for each description. Show me the emblem passed down in the land of searing heat. Show me the emblem passed down in the land of the falling leaves. Show me the emblem passed down in the land of the frozen wastes. Show me the emblem passed down in the land of lush greenery. Confirmed. Successor access acknowledged. You may pass. It's open! How are the four emblems connected to the old race? We're certainly not gonna find out just standing here. Let's go inside. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, maybe we'll find an explanation for this inside. of the Earth. But why is there a huge island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean? That definitely shouldn't be there. 
Or should it? If you believe the old stories, there really was an island there once. The lost continent of Mu. But even if that was true, what's a map of Earth doing in here? <gasps> Look! Someone's there! We pray that you have come seeking the Eye of Truth with only the purest of intentions. It is an extremely dangerous relic if left unguarded. We also pray that you have the strength to atone for the horrible mistake we made. The Eye of Truth is capable of opening gates to alternate dimensions. We created the Eye with a combination of our own technology and the symbology endowed upon us by the runes, the natives of this planet. But before we could reach our goal, there was a disaster that ruined all of our plans. A gate was opened to the demon world, sending legions of monsters pouring into this world. Even that, however, was not enough to halt our experimentation. Our small band of comrades was united under one wish. We only wanted to return home to our planet. So this is it. The Eye of Truth. What does all this mean, Elia? Everything's going way over my head. I think the people we call the Old Race came to this planet from Earth, from the Moo Continent. I don't know about that. It doesn't seem like they came here so much, as they were brought here against their will. That's true. The King of Van told us that the Old Race descended upon the planet as fully grown adults. Legend has it that the Moo Continent sank into the sea in the wake of a meteor strike, before that day, the stories claimed that the Mu'a enjoyed a vast and highly advanced civilization. Yeah, I remember that. You know, the Alliance has a few reports on file about people being sucked into a vortex and suddenly reappearing someplace far away. There was a case of a missing child being found someplace that would have been physically impossible for him to travel to in the time he was gone. So, you think the meteor strike caused a vortex that swallowed these people up? Those reports you mentioned were about people going from one place to another on the same planet. I never saw any reports about people hopping light years, much less going from Earth to Rogue. Oh, well, you got me there. But if that theory is correct, it would explain why they made something like the Eye of Truth in the first place. They just wanted to go home. That's what the guy said. And besides, it also matches the Mua's lore pretty well. The history handed down to the King of Mua. The Eye was obtained in order to reveal the true path back to Paradise. The Eye failed to see the door to Paradise, however. In its place, a door of blasphemy. Darkness swarmed forth, and demons enveloped the world. By the time the door was closed, the land was already near death. All we could do was lament our mistake. They must have deeply regretted what they had done. In their eyes, their desire to get home brought doom to this planet. They wanted to make up for it somehow, but by that time, there was no turning back. So they went to the royal families and left clues in the form of lore, so it could make it down to all generations to come. Well, we'll never know the whole story. But listening to the phrases they left behind about courage and everlasting strength, you can really feel the emotions they must have had in their hearts. The Eye of Truth. I knew you would be able to do it. 
Now it is time to storm the demon world. Yes, my lord. We are told that the gate to the demon world lies in a deserted island southwest of Silverland. I believe in you. Victory will be yours before long. Who are you? Glad to see you, Vamana, doing well. Astral and Mua's defenses are pathetic as usual. I was wondering what you little rats were scheming, but I suppose I had nothing to worry about after all. <laughs> You're too late. Too late! The great Asmodeus has already completed his new weapon. The only option all of you have left is complete, unconditional surrender. Like hell we do! We'll never surrender to the likes of you! <laughs> we'll see how long that bravado lasts. Remia! Remia! Time to go inside! Yes, Mom! Look at that! What was that? <laughs> the fun's already begun. We figured you'd like a real-world example, so he's just destroyed a village! He what? How could you? Surrender at once! You have no choice! <laughs> Don't you run! Your Majesty, terrible news! Our guards report that the village of Durs has been destroyed in a gigantic explosion! They say there's absolutely no hope of survivors. How could this be? Organize an immediate expedition force and set up rescue operations with Silverland soldiers. I don't care if there's no hope. We're not going to give up on them. Yes, sir. We must storm the demon world at once. If that weapon strikes Van or Astral, it would be an utter catastrophe. I'm afraid you're right. This is seriously messed up. I swear I'll make them pay for this. <laughs> <laughs> 